Hi, I'm Nick and we're back with the wing. Today we're going to be looking at setting up your headphone and your monitor section. Let's jump on in. The wing has two monitor outputs, either headphones or your main monitor speakers. The monitor section on the console can be found on the left hand side next to the display. You'll also notice that on the top left and the top right of the console are two icons for headphones. These point out where the headphone ports are located. They're actually located on the underside of the wing. On the rear of the console by the auxiliary output, you will also notice a headphone icon. Auxiliary outputs 7 and 8 are tied to the headphones, so whatever signal you have routed to here will also become available from your headphones. Pressing view on the monitor and talkback section will load up the monitor and talkback menu. On the right hand side of the display is the monitor A and B selection switch. From here you can now adjust the parameters for your monitor, such as EQ, panning and width. To adjust the panning and width, simply select these on the display and then use the encoder on the right hand side of the screen. To adjust the EQ, simply drag and drop your selected bands. Also ensure that you have your EQ activated. Once completed, press the done button. You can also adjust the limiter for your monitors and you can also adjust the dim attenuation. As with the pan and width, simply select and then use the encoder on the right hand side of the display. You can also add delay to your monitors and invert the signal. Finally, we can change the source for the monitor. This is done by selecting the source drop down box. By default, the source will be set to main one. For our source, you can also adjust the source level. To adjust the output level for your monitor or your headphones, simply use the dials on the left hand side of the console. Finally, we need to route our monitors to one of the outputs. This is done from the routing menu. As in the previous video, ensure that you unlock your outputs first. Next, change your output group to the auxiliary output. By default, auxiliary outputs 7 and 8 are routed to your headphones. Personally, I would recommend leaving your headphones routed to auxiliary outputs 7 and 8. This can stop any confusion or routing issues in the future. Next, select the augs output that you'd like to use and then change the source group on the right hand side of the display to monitor. We can now route our monitor speakers to the auxiliary output. You can also route these monitors to your local outputs, to an AES output or to a card output. Let's go back to the monitor menu. On the left hand side of the display, you will see the dim, mono and mute settings for the monitors. There is also a dim and a mono button on the actual panel. You will also see three output options, A, B, and AB. By default, these options don't do anything. But if you press the setup button above, you can adjust this. If we set the solo mode to in place or studio, this will allow only the selected monitor source to play. This allows you to AB compare your headphones, your monitor speakers, or both at the same time. We will be covering the rest of the controls in this menu in a later video. For now, your monitors are set up and ready to work. 